Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, still can't use a game bridge with my own computer, but I've got a temporary uh, solution for now. Um, I've got the uh, game bridge hooked up to the TV, so um, I'm watching it on the monitor because the monitor has better picture quality than the TV. <laughs> but I'm listening to the TV because it doesn't have the freaking lag <laughs> with the sound, so yeah. Though I say the uh, monitor is better picture quality, I'm actually not sure because we're using a cheap cord and I don't know how good the picture quality is really going to look, but I'm gradually working on solving this problem. Uh, oh yeah, I have a map, don't I? Oh, it's too dark to read the map. Don't I? Oh, right, I don't have the flashlight yet. <laughs> I'm actually about to get that. Hello, what's this? There's a trash chute. Some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. Maybe if I drop something heavy from above. Yeah, at some point I come across uh, a six pack of, like, I think canned juice or something and I drop it in there. Oh, ah, what am I doing? I was thinking there was an actual door I was supposed to open. I wondered why James wasn't opening it. Oh, I see light here. Could I look at... Alright, cool. Yeah, this game actually makes use of the idea that you can't see your map if it's too dark. It's kind of a pain at times, but it's also kind of clever that they did that. I don't think... I don't recall any of the other games doing that. Of course, normally you have a flashlight anyway, so... It's not a problem, huh, for a while. Oh god, music is swelling. What does that mean? Oh boy. Hmm. I wonder if this is, I come back to this room later and there's a corpse on that chair. Ah, puzzle! Oh, I need the freaking flashlight first. Okay. <sighs> that hole it being too dark to see well is a pain. Maybe I should have started by going all the way to the top. Bars? Hmm. Oh, I didn't go this way. Oh wait, that's is that where the bar? No, that's where the bars are. Let's try going this way. Ooh, a door opened. Oh, nah, it's because I'm back at the stairway. Let me finish up with this floor. There may be nothing on it, but... I forgot which way. Oh, shit. Which way? Mm. Oh. <laughs> it says dragon. And I already checked that out. Okay. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Now where am I? 
Ah, here we go. Gee, that outfit looks so familiar, doesn't it? Hmm, huh. who does that look like again? Okay, here we go. I got a flashlight. Ah! That's right. You stay down, bitch. Yeah, it's really creepy. I've, I've totally forgot about it, but uh, before you get the flashlight, you know, of course, you can look around and you just see all these mannequin parts and you just think, oh, they're just mannequin parts. And then, uh, <laughs> it's still kind of creepy, though. Holy shit. Um, nothing happens until you, uh, nothing happens until you get the flashlight and all of a sudden some of the mannequin parts come to life. <laughs> Okay, where was I? Where did I come from? Okay. So I have a flashlight, yay! <laughs> Thank God. It also means I can read my map whenever I want. Look at my map whenever I want, rather. I keep hitting the wrong button. I might have to change the button configuration. <laughs> something about that kick. It was like, and you stay dead. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm actually finding some unlocked doors. I was thinking maybe I should have gone to the third floor first, but it looks like there's actually... Which way am I supposed to go here? Item of some kind. Handgun bullets, even though I don't have the freaking handgun yet. Maybe I was supposed to go to the third floor first. Oh well, screw it. There's nothing to do here. Uh, yeah, that one's too clean. I'm not sticking my hand in there. Oh, James. It's so funny that. That there's just, like, a million little things James does that uh, I never really thought much of, but for whatever reason, the fan base just really caught on to it. Like, James sticking his hand in a toilet. I mean, yeah, it's gross and all, but... <laughs> it's just... They act like it's some... It just be became a, a major, you know, character... <laughs> thing, somehow. As if it's perfectly normal for James to go around doing that. Okay, where's the freaking front door? God damn it. That's not it. Oh my god. This is sad. I need to use the map to get out of one fucking... <sighs> okay. It looks like it's here. Okay, okay. I didn't expect it to be on the right side of the room for some reason. Am I backtracking? I bet I am. <laughs> yup. Yeah, a couple more rooms I can theoretically go into. So yeah, no, I... I... I don't think I was necessarily meant to go on the third floor first, because I, I, the, this, this floor did have the flashlight on it, so I guess I was meant to go here first, even though, even though I'm getting bullets for a handgun I haven't picked up yet. <laughs> that reminds me of something, I don't know how many of you have seen, um, 
Silent Horror. It was a uh, uh, I mentioned it in my Game Den Silent Hill 2 episode. Uh, uh, X Strike Studios made a fan film that was sort of a like, part fan film, part parody of Silent Hill called Silent Horror, and um, and at some point the character who is meant to be like James, um, he finds a uh, like bullets for a bazooka or something. He's like, cool, I'm gonna get a bazooka later. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's such a survival horror staple that you always get, like, ammo for guns you're going to get later. And Yeah, I don't need to explain the joke. <laughs> hmm. Okay, there's something like three, three unlocked doors on this floor. I love that turning around, uh, that quick turnaround uh, thing you can do in this game in the first game. But like, you could do it, you could do it in the third game. But by the time the fourth game came out, for some reason they took that away, and I will never understand that. I mean. That's such a convenient action that is, that is, like, you kind of need to be able to do that. Okay, maybe you don't need to, but it's extremely helpful. I don't know why. I don't know why they would take that out. But only the first three games had it. Oh, God. Uh... <laughs> I'm trying to read the graffiti on the walls, or I'm trying to remember to, rather. Ah. <laughs> I'll just reach under and get that key. Nothing bad will happen here. It's a key on the ground on the other side of the bars. If I stretch my arms out, I just might be able to reach it. Will you pick it up? Yes. Sloppy editing there. <laughs> His tone of voice changed too quickly. Hey, wait! Damn it! Yeah, that's. I, <laughs> I'm sure that startled many a Silent Hill. I'm sure that startled many a player the first time around. It's like, oh shit, what's happening? <laughs> oh, it's just a bratty little kid stomping on my hand. I heard somewhere recently that I guess a lot of the fan base hates Laura, which I can't bring myself to hate her. I mean, she's a total brat, but I think she's adorable. <laughs> and sure she's- ah, here we go. Told you I was gonna get the handgun. <laughs> the bullets tipped me off. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'll take this handgun. Wait, shopping cart? What's that doing in here? But, um... Yeah, I think, uh... I mean, don't get me wrong, I certainly wouldn't want to deal with her in real life, but I don't know, I, I think Laura's adorable. I kind of like how she and James play off each other. I mean, she is very, very mean to him, and he doesn't know why. And yeah, that's kind of fucked up from James's perspective, but I'd, I'd still get a kick out of it. I like Laura a lot. <laughs> it just occurred to me, probably the only um, child character to show up on in a Silent Hill game that wasn't a victim of horrible abuse. That we know of. Of course, the the uh, the person she's named after was so that's kind of interesting. Huh. 
Huh, let's see. I can't go any further on the third floor. Where should I go? Is there some place? Oh, may, um, I guess I'll go back to the second floor and see if uh, that stuff has happened yet. That was interesting. I think earlier I, I was actually I actually went into the bathroom where you meet Eddie. <laughs> but Eddie wasn't there yet. I don't know if I've ever done that before. I probably have and just don't remember because, you know. <laughs> Not much to remember, really. Oh yeah, the clock. That wasn't even the clock I was looking at. I was looking at something else that was circled on the map, but it made me think of the clock. Okay, let's see. Where am I going? Maybe in 205? Oh, clock room or 205? What should I go into first? I guess I'll try 205 because I, like I said, I think that's where you meet Eddie. But oh, sounded like a scream to me. Wait, he said north of here? Oh, okay, I am supposed to go to the clock room. Okay, maybe I was confused. Maybe that wasn't the room where you meet Eddie. Maybe it's just set up like that room, because it's... Apartments tend to look similar to each other, obviously. Oh, fuck. Wait, what? Yep, there he is. Our first glimpse at you know who. I liked him better before he sold out. He's all about the money now. Oh yeah, this is where I was earlier. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I didn't make the connection that this was the same room as the clock. Oh my god. Who could have... You don't notice that that guy looks just like you, James? No. It's good that they don't point that out, though. It's The uh, earlier games were all about subtlety. Key to room 202. Okay, clock. But isn't there something written over here too? Yeah. Henry, ha, Mildred, and Scott. Oh boy, okay, I'm about to have to solve a riddle here. <laughs> Henry, I wonder if that's a reference to Silent Hill Fo Oh, right. <laughs> there is writing on the clock. The scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. How, <laughs> very appropriate. Will you push the clock? Well, yeah. What am I gonna do, not push the clock? Oh, ha, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, what? 257 and 15 seconds. The faceplate is closed, it is locked. I can't touch any of the clock like this. Okay, I found a key, didn't I? Okay, I guess I need to go to room 202, unless- oh wait, no, that's it again. <laughs> okay! Shit. Mm. A 
Okay, I guess I find more, uh, I guess I find the solution to the, uh, puzzle later. Of course he's gone now. Okay, what? What? What am I doing? Okay, wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, room two hundred two is where I want to go, and that was just past the where I came in at. Okay, what is going to be in here? I may not want to know. The body of a dead butterfly. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. See, so yeah, apparently, um, I believe butterflies somehow symbolize death in Japan, or maybe death and rebirth. I'm not sure, but yeah, either way, it's appropriate. Uh... <laughs> James is always sticking his arms in holes, too. Or jumping into holes. They totally ripped this off in Homecoming. Although I did sort of like Alex's hand being yanked in. That didn't happen to James. <gasps> you left-handed, James? I feel the controller vibrate. <laughs> Clock key, there we go. I didn't think he was actually going to do anything there. Uh, is there anywhere I haven't looked? Oh, there's too many, like, freaking doors in these apartments. <laughs> Why can't they be studio apartments? I think I looked here already. Freaking butterflies are following me around. I just noticed that. Okay, I think I managed to shake them off when I went around the co- Okay, maybe not. Are they really following me like I think they are? Yeah, they are. Trippy. Okay. Okay, what's next? Oh, yeah, clock. Which is, yeah, still on the floor. Still on this floor. Ugh. Okay, let's go. Doesn't say anything here, does he? Nope. Just gonna carry on like I don't see that dead body. <laughs> Just pretend it's not there. Whoa. Okay, so I got the key for the clock, but. I don't think I've got the whole... Hmm... <laughs> yeah, you mean the clock you're looking at right now? <laughs> 
Oh, James, you're funny. Well, that's good, but I still don't know... I think I remember there being writing that, that like, clued you into what this was all about. But I don't remember... I know there's supposed to be more than just names. I mean, sure, yeah, there's names, but... Something like, Henry was faster than Mildred or something like that. I don't remember what it was now, but it was something like that. I have not yet found it. Crap. Search this area a little more. I guess I can use an FAQ if I have to, but I'd, I'd hate to use an FAQ for this game. I should really, I should really know it by now. But yeah, notice the body language on this corpse and how it's looking at a TV. That's gonna be an image, some imagery that shows up again later. Damn it, how am I supposed to figure out? Well, wait a minute. Henry Mildred Scott, hours, minutes, seconds. Okay, I'm not slow or anything. <sighs> okay, crap. I think I can figure this out now. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm a little slow. Although, hell, all I have to do is just move the clock until, um... Oh, that's- I got my hours and minutes mixed up. All I have to do is, uh, keep moving it until it clicks, I think. There we go. Oh boy. Yeah, it's embarrassing that I didn't know. Yeah, I know. Push it. 